How to replace Ma in board. First, prepare the necessary tools. Multimeter, screw drive, thermal grease, brush, thermal pad, insulation sheet, tweezers, a new Ma in board. Lift the display panel connector vertically. Use a screwdriver to loosen the screws on the photovoltaic lines. Remove the screws securing the maw in board one by one. Take off the maw in board and place it aside. After removing the old insulation sheet, use a brush to evenly reapply thermal paste to the heat dissipation part of the bottom shell. Take out the new maw in board, ensuring the model matches the original maw in board. Apply thermal grease to the back of the moss tube and evenly spread it with a brush. Attach the thermal pad, ensuring the insulation sheet is correctly positioned on the moss tube. During attachment, pay attention to aligning with the holes of the moss tube, ensuring vertical placement. Place the maw in board back onto the bottom shell. Align the main board's holes with the screw column holes on the bottom shell. Start by aligning the top to holes, then align the bottom holes. Use the first screws around the periphery to secure it. 3 6 screws. Tighten diagonally. Install screws with insulation particles 3 8 screws in the 7 positions of the moss tube. Secure them. Ensure the screws are covered with insulation particles. Confirm all screws are properly secured without omissions. Check if the installation is qualified. Use the buzzing mode. Place the red probe on the pay position. And use the black probe to measure if there's a buzzing sound on the terminals. If there's a numerical change, there might be a leakage problem. If there's no numerical display, it indicates successful installation. Measure these two points to ensure good contact with the multimeter probes. After confirming assembly is qualified, plug in connectors and reconnect photovoltaic lines. The process of MA inboard replacement is now complete.